Hi ladies and welcome to another episode of Crossing Overs Crafts and Creations. So today I'm going to be showing you ladies how to wrap a sorry scarf. Um, I got a couple of requests um, from different ladies asking me how I wrap um, the scar the sorry <laughs> I can't talk today sorry <laughs> the sorry scarf um, with the braid going on the back side of the crown um, it's one of my favorite ones um, it's uh, pretty easy to wrap and it looks beautiful and very regal so um, it's one that I like to use a lot when I use my saris um, it's just very pretty it looks feminine um, and depending on whether you want it high or low um, will depend on which kind of volumizer you're going to use. So today for my volumizer, I am using the Judith de Paris um, low volume volumizer in the white. Take a look. Okay. All right. So um, with this one, because it's um, a braid, I'm doing a little bit lower. It sits a little bit further back. It looks very pretty. Again, very regal. So let's get started. So for this particular wrap, I chose a two-in-one, okay, tickle that can be used either as a sash, sorry, or as a base scarf. And this one makes a nice base scarf. It matches my shirt perfectly. Um, I love it. It's got all sorts of different colors in it. Blues and gold. And I just love it. It's a fun scarf. So, I'm going to start by bringing my scarf up to the edge. And I'm going to bring it forward and make sure that my ends are even. Okay. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to do this like I normally would a base scarf. You're going to take it, gather, oops, tie it in the back like you normally would, and that basically kind of hides everything back here, just smoothing everything in the back, okay? So you're starting just like you would any other wrap with a nice base scarf, okay? So once I have that comfortable situated in my head, um, you see I wear glasses. I do like to put my um, uh, glasses on before I put my volumizer and before I put on my scarves because it allows me to know how tight or how loose I'm gonna put this on because I hate getting those glasses headaches that you can get, okay? So next is, I'm going to grab this gorgeous cream sari that has some pretty colors in here. I have all different types, blues, and one of them happens to be this really pretty print that matches my, my shirt. It picks up the colors in my shirt. So I'm going to try to get that to be my, my top color. And I'm gonna bring it up. Ta da! It doesn't have to be perfect at first, ladies. And I'm gonna take my ends and I'm gonna match them up in the front. Now, I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot of times when I do the wraps where I will um, basically leave one side of um, this a little bit longer than the other. I'm only gonna do that slightly. I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit. I don't want it to be too short on one side or too long. Just enough. Because I want this little bit of fabric closer to my head. So I'm going to flip these guys to the back. And I'm going to take my sari. And I am going to bring it back. And again, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to tie it. Okay, pull it through. So this side is about this length. I like to have like a little bit hanging down here in the front. So it gives me a, 
a little added look with my outfit. All right, so I'm gonna take, I've got my bottom tickle showing. I'm gonna fix my sari just to make sure it's the way I like it. And then I'm gonna take the two strands that I had from the base scarf and I'm gonna braid it with the longer side of the sari. So this longer side is pretty much about the same length as the other two um, pieces. So I like to take the pieces that I have the same of and take them and start my braid off and then keep the, uh, the sari in the middle. So I'm going to start braiding. And you can do your braid as tight or as loose as you want. I like to do mine a little bit tighter. It just gives it a really pretty look. You can see it's kind of getting a real nice braided pattern right there. And I'm just going to braid that all the way down. Keep on braiding until I run out of tickle, which I'm down at. Okay, so now I have this beautiful braid. Now, you could decide to do one of two things with this at this point. You can either do what I'm going to do, which is take the braid and wrap it around, or you could leave the braid hanging and you could take any kind of tie, tie it onto the bottom, and then take this end and then just wrap it and tuck it. So that's one look, okay? I like this hanging. I like the sari hanging. So I'm not going to tie it. I'm going to take this gorgeous braid and I'm going to pull it over and I'm going to wrap it around my crown like this. Okay. And I'm going to tuck this in the back because I want the base scarf to show. So I'm going to take around. And then I'm going to take my ends, okay, take the ends, and I'm going to tuck it into my volumizer, into my ultimizer, okay? So, ladies, it's as easy as that. So, there I have the crown, the braid closer so you guys could see that. Okay, turn, it's this side, the left side, that's the back, and you can play around with this a little bit, just tuck that sari in a bit so that it's not showing and all you see is that beautiful braid come around and then you have this nice little hanging waterfall tail that I love because it just makes the outfit look so nice and one of the things that I did is I had this pretty wine colored flower that I wore on my sorry I just clipped it right there and that was my look that was it um, you could do a lot more with this you could add another headband you could add some pearls to it but this was quick it was easy um, I did a lot of talking so it took a little bit longer but this is a really nice way to tie a sari it's really easy it's beautiful and it's simple alright so I hope that helped you ladies out and this is the single braided sari um, scarf with a waterfall off to the side Okay, hope you ladies enjoyed it. I had fun making the video. Shalom, until next time. Bye-bye.